In the first video segment, you learned how to create a KML and KMZ file that link to images on the internet. These images were specifically stored on your pages.google account and look something like this. If you loaded one of those KML files into Google Earth and then clicked on the place mark, you'd notice that the picture takes a second to load. That's because Google Earth fetches the images in the description balloons as they're needed or on demand. Well, sometimes it's more convenient to package up your place marks, images, icons, and 3D models into a single file. That way your project can be viewed without an internet connection. And it also makes it load faster and more reliably when you're giving demonstrations. In this next video segment, you'll learn how to make an all-inclusive KMZ file that will package up the screenshot inside. You have already completed most of the actual work for creating this self-contained KMZ file. So you just need to learn a few extra concepts to understand when and why Google Earth packages up these images in a KMZ. Let's start by looking at the castle.html file that you created last time in Enview. First launch Enview, and then File, Open, go to the Castle folder, and load the castle.html. Double click on the image and take a look at the image location field. Here is the URL that you pasted in from your Google Pages account. Remember that this is the screenshot that we uploaded in the last video segment. Well, let's take a look at the actual HTML for this image. Cancel out of this window, and then at the bottom, click on the Source tab. If you have a look around the raw HTML, you'll see an IMG or image tag, and it has an attribute called SRC or Source whose value is the same as that URL you saw just a moment ago. This URL is called an absolute path because it's a complete reference to the location of the image, including the HTTP colon slash slash that you're used to seeing in front of most web addresses, and then followed by the name of the web server the picture is being stored on. Google Earth can retrieve and display images from the internet, but it can also access images that are stored on your hard drive. And this is how you make Google Earth store images and other files that are used in your place marks into a complete KMZ. This is because Google Earth assumes that if you have an image linked to a location on the internet, and you save and then share your place marks with other people, they can probably still access those images directly over the internet. But that isn't the case with files that are kept on your computer. In order to share those files, they must be inserted into the KMZ itself along with the place mark and sent as a package. So let's try to link to an image that's on your hard drive instead. First click on the normal tab and then double click on the image again. Then under the image location field click on choose file, then navigate to your desktop, go to the castle folder, images folder, and then choose the screenshot.jpg and click open. You'll notice that the URL changed, and now it says something like images slash screenshot dot JPEG. This is called a relative path, in contrast to the absolute path you saw earlier, which means that instead of saying exactly where the file is on your hard drive or on the internet, you're actually telling Google Earth or a web browser to start looking wherever that HTML or KML file that refers to the image is located. In this case, since the HTML file is in the castles folder on your desktop, it's going to start looking for this images subfolder at that location and then the screenshot.jpg inside. Before clicking OK, uncheck the URL is relative to page location box. You'll notice that the image location changed to an absolute path on your hard drive. You can also see that it starts with a file colon triple slash C drive documents and settings etc etc. You might have noticed that it looks a little bit like the original URL for the image hosted on Google Pages, which started with HTTP slash slash. Check this box again and return the URL to a relative path. The problem with using absolute paths from Enview is that Google Earth doesn't read absolute paths on your hard drive the same way that Enview, Dreamweaver, or web browsers do. Specifically, the problem is that Google Earth doesn't recognize the file colon triple slash. Instead, it's looking for a regular file path that you might be used to, C colon slash documents and settings. Or if you're on OS X, something like slash user slash username slash desktop. 
Well, I'm going to re-choose the image since I broke that absolute path by removing the file colon triple slash. We'll keep it as a relative path. Now click OK. So let's switch to the Source tab and then select all of this HTML and then right click Copy or go to Edit Copy and then switch back to Google Earth. Move to the side a little bit and then click Add Place Mark and we're going to call this new place mark PROG2. Then click in the description box, right click, and then choose paste to put in the HTML from EndView. When you're done, click OK. So let's check out our new place mark. We're expecting to see our picture, but actually it's missing. That's because when you use relative paths, Google Earth has to know where to start looking. Whenever you open a KML file in Google Earth by using File Open or by dragging it onto Google Earth, Google Earth knows exactly where to start looking for those relative paths. But for this one, when we created a new place mark, it hadn't been saved as a file yet. So Google Earth doesn't know where to start looking for that image screenshot. So let's try this. Click on your PROG2 place mark and then right click and choose Save As and this time make sure that you're saving your file as type KML and we'll name this file prog relative path then click save now delete the second place mark by clicking the delete key and then click OK now go open the castle folder on your desktop and double click on the prog relative path KML now under this new place mark if you click on it we should see our screenshot and there it is. So why did it work this time? It's because Google Earth opened the KML file which is in the castle folder and it knew to where to start looking for that relative path of the images subfolder. Do you want some proof that Google Earth knows exactly where your image is kept? Well go back to Google Earth and then right click on this place mark and choose copy and then start a text editor like Notepad++ or you could even use EndView paste this place mark from Google Earth into the new document. If you look at the place marks description tag, you can see the full absolute path to the image on your hard drive. For me, it starts with C slash documents and settings, alchemist, desktop, castle, images, screenshot, etc. When Google Earth opens a KML file that has a relative path, it originally looks like this. But Google Earth will automatically add the KML file's location to the relative path to make it temporarily an absolute path so it knows exactly where your image is. Let's do another little test. Close your text editor and then go back to EndView. Select and then copy this HTML again. Then go back to Google Earth and first right click on temporary places and choose delete contents. We want to clean up a little. Then click add place mark and we'll give this one a name, let's call it PROG3. Then right click and paste the HTML description from EndView into the description field. Now let's save this to a different location. Right click and then save as and this time save it inside the images folder as PROG3.KML. Then delete the place mark and then let's go back to the castle folder and then this time we'll go inside the images subfolder and open up the prog3.kml file. When you click on the place mark, you'll notice that the image isn't working again. Well, why not? Right click on the prog3 place mark and click on properties. Remember that we have a relative path. So Google Earth starts looking for this relative path wherever the KML file was loaded specifically in an images subfolder and inside that folder we're looking for the screenshot.jpg. Well, if you go back to the castle folder and inside the images folder from where we loaded the prog3.kml file, you'll see that there isn't another images subfolder and that's why our link is broken.